The Genius of Birds is a book written by Jennifer Ackerman that explores the remarkable intelligence of birds. The author highlights the ways in which birds have evolved complex cognitive abilities in order to navigate their environments and social structures. Throughout the book, Ackerman shares stories and research that showcase the remarkable cognitive abilities of birds, including their problem-solving skills, social behaviors, communication, and navigation abilities. In this detailed summary, we will explore the main points and themes of the book. Chapter 1, The Surprising Brilliance of Birds In the opening chapter, Ackerman introduces readers to the concept of bird intelligence and highlights the ways in which birds have been traditionally underestimated in this regard. She notes that birds have evolved a wide range of cognitive abilities in order to navigate their complex environments and social structures. Ackerman also explores the idea that birds may have a different type of intelligence than humans, one that is more specialized for their specific ecological niches. Chapter 2 a bird's eye view of the world. In this chapter, Ackerman discusses the remarkable visual abilities of birds, which have evolved in order to help them navigate their environments. She notes that birds have a much wider visual field than humans and that they are able to see ultraviolet light, which allows them to detect patterns on flowers and navigate by the sun. Ackerman also explores the ways in which birds use visual cues to navigate, including the position of the sun stars, and landmarks. Chapter 3, The Cognitive Toolkit of Birds In this chapter, Ackerman explores the cognitive abilities of birds, including their problem-solving skills, self-awareness, and ability to plan for the future. She notes that birds are able to solve problems using a variety of tools, including sticks and hooks. Ackerman also describes experiments that have shown that some birds are able to plan for the future, demonstrating self-control in order to access rewards later on. Chapter 4, The Social Lives of Birds In this chapter, Ackerman explores the social behavior of birds, including their complex communication systems. She notes that birds use a wide range of vocalizations and body language to communicate with one another and that they are able to convey a wide range of information through these means. Ackerman also describes the social hierarchies that exist within bird communities, and the ways in which birds are able to navigate these hierarchies. Chapter 5, The Avian Brain In this chapter, Ackerman delves deeper into the structure and function of the bird brain. She notes that while the bird brain is smaller than that of mammals, it is highly specialized and capable of performing complex tasks. Ackerman explores the ways in which different regions of the bird brain are specialized for different tasks, including navigation, vocalization, and problem solving. Chapter 6, The Music of Birds In this chapter, Ackerman explores the remarkable vocal abilities of birds, which have evolved in order to communicate with one another and attract mates. She notes that birds are able to produce an incredible range of sounds, including songs, calls, and mimicry of other species. Ackerman also describes the ways in which birds learn to produce these sounds, including through imitation and practice. Chapter 7, Avian Artistry In this chapter, Ackerman explores the artistic abilities of birds, which have been observed in a variety of contexts. She notes that some birds are able to create intricate and aesthetically pleasing structures, including nests and bowers. Ackerman also explores the ways in which birds use color and pattern to attract mates and communicate with one another. Chapter 8, The Magnetic Sense In this chapter, Ackerman explores the remarkable ability of birds to navigate using the Earth's magnetic field. She notes that birds are able to detect and use the magnetic field to orient themselves and navigate over long distances, particularly during migration. Ackerman describes the ways in which birds may be able to detect the magnetic field, including through the use of specialized cells in their eyes and beaks. She also explores the idea that the magnetic sense may be connected to other sensory systems in the bird brain, allowing birds to integrate information from multiple sources. Chapter 9, Bird Brains and Human Minds 
In this chapter, Ackerman explores the ways in which research on bird intelligence can inform our understanding of human cognition. She notes that while there are certainly differences between bird and human brains, there are also many similarities in terms of the cognitive abilities that they support. Ackerman describes research that suggests that birds may be able to demonstrate some of the same higher-level cognitive abilities as humans, including self-awareness and theory of mind. Chapter 10, The Future of Bird Intelligence Research In the final chapter of the book, Ackerman reflects on the current state of research on bird intelligence and the directions that future research may take. She notes that there is still much to learn about the cognitive abilities of birds, and that new technologies and methods are being developed to better understand these abilities. Ackerman also explores the implications of this research for conservation efforts, noting that a better understanding of bird cognition may help us to design more effective strategies for protecting bird populations and their habitats. Conclusion the Genius of Birds is a fascinating exploration of the remarkable cognitive abilities of birds. Jennifer Ackerman's writing is engaging and accessible, making this book a great read for both bird enthusiasts and those interested in animal cognition more broadly. Through her stories and research, Ackerman makes a compelling case for the intelligence and complexity of bird behavior challenging traditional ideas about animal intelligence and providing a new perspective on the natural world. Throughout the book, Ackerman also touches on the ways in which human activities are impacting bird populations and their behavior. For example, in Chapter 3, she discusses the effects of noise pollution on bird communication and navigation. She notes that birds use sound to communicate with each other and to navigate through their environments but that human-generated noise can interfere with these processes, leading to changes in behavior and even population declines. In Chapter 7, Ackerman discusses the ways in which birds are adapting to urban environments. She notes that while many bird species are declining in natural habitats, some are thriving in cities, where they have access to new sources of food and shelter. Ackerman describes some of the ways in which urban birds have adapted to their new environments, including changes in diet and nesting behavior. One of the strengths of the genius of birds is Ackerman's ability to blend scientific research with engaging storytelling. Throughout the book, she weaves together anecdotes and personal observations with the latest scientific findings, making the research come alive for readers. For example, in Chapter 4, she describes the behavior of the Clark's Nutcracker, a bird that is able to remember the locations of thousands of individual pine cones over the course of many months. Ackerman's storytelling helps to illustrate the complexity of the bird's behavior, making it easier for readers to understand and appreciate. Overall, The Genius of Birds is an engaging and informative read that offers a new perspective on the intelligence and behavior of our avian friends. Ackerman's writing is accessible and engaging, and her stories and research provide a fascinating glimpse into the natural world. Whether you are a bird enthusiast or simply interested in animal cognition more broadly, this book is sure to delight and inspire. Are you fascinated by the intelligence and behavior of birds? Do you want to learn more about how these remarkable creatures are able to navigate, communicate, and problem-solve in their environments? If so, The Genius of Birds by Jennifer Ackerman is the book for you. With engaging storytelling and the latest scientific research, Ackerman reveals the surprising complexity and intelligence of bird behavior. From memory to language to problem solving, birds demonstrate a remarkable range of cognitive abilities that challenge our traditional ideas about animal intelligence. So why wait? Click the link in the description and join Ackerman on a journey through the fascinating world of avian cognition. Good.